In this video, we'll dive into the freshest and most intriguing updates in artificial intelligence. We'll explore everything from the latest enhancements in ChatGPT to the rise of an AI influencer. So let's get right into these exciting topics. So one of the latest news is this post on OpenAI that it has filed a trademark application for GPT-5 which includes Software 4. The artificial production of human speech and text and conversion of audio data files into text, voice and speech recognition and machine learning based language and speech processing. Though the release date of GPT-5 is still uncertain, it will likely be sometime in 2024. OpenAI has several challenges to overcome and improvements to make on the GPT-4 model before moving forward to GPT-5. Then OpenAI is rolling out several small updates to improve the chat GPT experience. It includes prompt examples where you'll find helpful examples on the initial page to guide you. It also includes suggested replies to enhance your conversation by clicking on suggested replies provided by chat GPT, allowing you to explore deeper discussions. It uses GPT-4 by default as a plus user. When you begin a new chat, ChatGPT will remember your previously chosen model. Currently, it uses GPT-3.5 as default and transitioning from 3.5 to GPT-4 will improve user experience. It can also now upload multiple files and keep you logged in compared to the recent will it logs you out after two weeks. It also includes keyboard shortcuts to boost your efficiency. Another piece of news is that AI.com seemingly flips from ChatGPT to Elon Musk's XAI back in February. There was quite a buzz when news broke that OpenAI had acquired AI.com seemingly with the intention of directing users to the ChatGPT web interface. However, a new development has emerged. Elon Musk, a former supporter and prominent figure on Twitter known for his keen interest in AI, seems to have taken control of the valuable domain. Now AI.com has been redirected to XAI, the burgeoning machine learning research ventures led by the billionaire himself. Google also has announced three new things you can do with generative AI in search. The internet holds a lot of information and viewpoints. Now Google wants its user to find what they want more quickly and easily. With SGE, first, users can get a better understanding through images and videos, then users can get AI-powered overviews faster and learn more when something catches their interest. As another web-based video platform, YouTube allows individuals, bloggers, and businesses to find, host, and distribute audio and videos from Central Hub. One of its latest updates involves testing AI auto-generated summaries. YouTube is currently testing these summaries, designed to provide a brief overview of a video. This lets you quickly determine if the video aligns with your interests. Another step YouTube is doing is testing improvements to the channel page layout. YouTube also starting to test changes to creator channel pages where tabs like playlist won't be shown in cases where those tabs have no content. They're also testing improved access to the information from the About and Channels tab by updating the look and feel of the channel page. Another area that they're currently testing is the possibility of a new For You section on channel homepages. They are testing a way to make the channel homepage more personalized to individual viewers by adding a new For You section that will recommend a mix of different content types from that channel based on the videos they've already watched. While these tests are currently accessible to a limited number of subscribers, it's intriguing to anticipate that developments will unfold next and how they will enhance the overall user experience. Let's watch for what's coming next and the potential improvements in store. Stay until the end of this video because the next AI news will surely blow your mind. Another update is Meta's AudioCraft, a generative AI tool for audio and music. AudioCraft is Meta's latest AI tool that generates high-quality, realistic audio and music from text. AudioGraph consists of three models, MusicGen, AudioGen, and Encodec. MusicGen, which was trained with Meta-owned and specifically licensed music. 
generates music from text prompts while AudioGen, which was trained on public sound effects, generates audio from text prompts. Lastly, the Encodec decoder which allows higher quality music generation with fewer artifacts. AudioCraft does many things in one place. Music, sound, compression, and making new stuff. It's easy to use and build on, so people who want to make better sound makers, compressions, tricks, or music creators can all work together on the same code and use what others have already made. In connection, Instagram is working on labels for AI-generated content. Instagram seems to be developing fresh notification designed to indicate instances where artificial intelligence has been involved in producing content on its platform. Alessandro Paluzzi, the app researcher who often uncovers upcoming Instagram features even before they're made public, recently shared a screenshot of an Instagram app page. This page mentions the creator or meta indicated that this content was made or edited using AI. The particular notification specifies that. In this instance, it's an image produced by Meta AI. It then offers a quick explanation of what generative AI means and how to spot posts that utilize AI. He posted, Hashtag, Instagram is working to label the contents created or modified by hashtag AI in order to be identified more easily. Just shortly following Meta's commitment with major AI players like Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI to the responsible advancement of AI, which included investments in cybersecurity, discrimination research, and a content watermarking system to signal AI-generated content, there's a discovery. It's unclear how automated Instagram labeling approach will be or how much it will depend on users admitting to AI use in content creation or editing. However, the notice hints that in some instances, the tech company will take proactive steps to apply the notice rather than relying solely on user honesty. Going further is the latest on Stack Overflow. If you're not familiar with Stack Overflow, it's a place where people who write code ask for help or find solutions to coding problems. But lately, fewer people are using it because there are new tools like ChatGPT and GitHub's AI Copilot that helps coder when they're stuck. Now Stack Overflows want to bring people back by introducing Overflow AI. Overflow AI can provide short and helpful answers using special computer smarts. It uses all the questions and answers from Stack Overflow to give good advice more easily. It also promises to show where it got its answers from. This might make it easier for people to find solutions. It's interesting to think about how the folks who've been helping on Stack Overflow for a long time feel about their advice becoming part of this AI. Some might be okay with it, while others might not like the idea of a machine using their answers. The situation raises a common issue in AI, how people's work is used in these smart systems. With the rise of generative AI becoming more common, Kickstarter's crowdfunding platform has faced challenges in finding a policy that satisfies all sides of the ongoing discussions. Many tools powered by generative AI used to create art and text today, such as Stable Diffusion and ChatGPT, were trained using images and text available on the internet. However, the creators of these images Photographers and writers often need to be acknowledged, paid, or given a chance to say no to their content being used for training. The groups responsible for these AI tools argue that they are protected by fair use rules, especially in the United States. But the people who make the original content sometimes have differing views, especially when AI-made content or the AI tools themselves are used to make money. To bring more clarity to the situation, Kickstarters has announced the project using AI tools to generate images, text, music, or audio on its platform must now provide specific details on their project pages. These details must explain how the AI content will be used in the project and which parts are original, and which are made using AI tools. Now, one of the most mind-boggling results of AI is the Internet's influencer realm. Yet, what adds another layer of fascination is the rise of AI influencers. Indeed. These are prominent figures, but the catch is they aren't real individuals. One of the most famous is Lil Michaela, 
despite being a fictional creation, she boasts 3 million Instagram followers, 279,000 YouTube subscribers, and 3 million TikTok followers. Lil Michaela commands a fee of over 10,000 US dollars for each Instagram post and boasts a net worth reaching 8 figures. With a massive social media following, she generates thousands of dollars simply by sharing her content. And Lil Michaela is not the only one. Another influencer has amassed thousands of Instagram followers who remain unaware of her AI identity. Milia Sophia, posing as a 24-year-old residing in Helsinki, has garnered over 100,000 followers while then staying incognito as an AI creation. This digital influencer remains active online, sharing snapshots of herself in bikinis from various picturesque travel destinations worldwide. Remarkably, Milia Sophia garnered the kind of responses and interaction that any social media influencer strives for. She skillfully maintained engagement among her followers by posing questions like, Could I be considered a Greek goddess? And which bikini style do you prefer? Even on Twitter, she contributed to the empowerment of women. In a notable post, she uploaded a photo along with a caption, taking pride in representing working women. However, her followers started to decline when news about her being fully AI started circulating online. AI is truly transforming our lives in remarkable ways. If you're keen on staying up to date with the latest AI news, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.